up on this. We're gonna see whether he's gonna have enough. Mind, I think he might, yeah, moving in on all oh, that one single ramp, sieging up like huge on that entire ramp. Anything that even comes within range of mind right now gonna be able to do a lot of damage still I'm not quite sure he has enough just unfortunate for him that he's being gonna be forced to move up this ramp on sieging some of his tanks as well gonna have to be very careful from an attack coming in from the back he's actually gonna move a few of his siege tanks away and I think I think that's him actually picking up a base picking up the inside inside five o'clock of all places let's see control towers on most of those start but still don't see the initial battlecruisers out there I'm wondering whether Fantasy is at the moment focusing on upgrades more than anything else. Mine's still on weapons 2 this entire time. Well, Fantasy has been on weapons 3 for a long time, getting more dropships coming in, so he's gonna. Yeah, wow. Siege the bottom of that ramp instantly. Huge advantage for Fantasy here. Unfortunately for Mind, uh, getting his. Not, <laughs> not any more damage, but that one single volley took out four tanks, I think. So he's gonna be able to pick up that inside 9, because they're. Unless Fantasy might actually drop on that. Uh, position is gonna be a little bit vulnerable and wow he's actually getting sieged on uh, on the on the back there let's see mine's still producing mostly tanks and glass on the opposite side fantasy also mostly good tanks and glass gonna move into the north now a little bit i think fantasy has enough to defend the drops coming in as well mine has a lot of forces on the ground though he's been producing tanks a lot of tanks still a lot of tanks out there might actually manage to clean this up fantasy should have reinforcements coming in though he should have enough to fill up those drop ships still working on his first battle cruisers only one i think just Hasn't really had the time or economy or attention, I think, to work on them beyond that. But still has to be focusing on his gas and his minerals. Continue getting his economy huge if he wants to be able to use those battle cruisers. And this might actually hugely surprise Mind. Um, not altogether too sure whether he knows they're coming or not. Meanwhile, on the opposite side, he's probably just continuing... Pardon me, pro probably just continuing to amass dropships from those two star points. At the very least, they've been a... Big help to them this entire time, and I'm actually wondering whether those starports of mines are actually producing dropships rather than uh, than battle cruisers. He's ready for battle cruisers in case he wants to do that, but he knows that it has to be the exactly correct timing because if he goes for dropships at the wrong time, he's gonna have to do sacrifice something to get those, and it's just a question of what he's willing to sacrifice. It's gonna be a drop. <laughs> Fantasy thought of a drop, decided to think less of it. Initial battle cruiser is out there. Uh, yeah, he's been working up upgrades, weapons 1, armor 1 upgrades on those battle cruisers. I'm still surprised mine has upgraded his weapons to level 3 because having just that's a huge disadvantage when you're taking part in siege battles, having that weapons 2 against your opponent's weapon 3 because fantasy is going to be able to, you know, it's going to take one less hit for fantasy's tanks to take your tanks out. And that's a huge disadvantage, especially when it's been going along for as long as it has. Initial battle cruiser come out, they're going to start shelling this tank. Ah, actually no, it's starting on the engineer bay before anything else. <laughs> Pick off that engineer. Mine spots this initial tank now, and I'm not even sure whether Fantasy is going to build that many battle cruisers. He has his initial one, and I'm wondering if Mine's going to react to this at all. Whether he's going to try to switch up and go for his own. Actually, has a bunch of his just sitting there, not mining or doing anything whatsoever. That's interesting. Uh, Fantasy is very for, has been forced at this point very far to the right, but he's defending his upright and he's defending his position with those starports. Our mines moving up very close. There are a lot of tanks. There's going to con continue sieging up. Mine's going to continue moving up, picking up those tanks. Fantasy does have the dropships. Not quite sure he has really enough forces to drop on top of Mine at this point. Try to pick all those forces up. He's meanwhile just going to fly them around. Uh, try to pick up position. Uh, but Mine is just going to continue. I'm, not, I'm surprised why he hasn't continued mining at that bottom right. I think, I think because of tanks, most likely. It's because of sieging and stuff. Arbiter's still alive in there, so the tanks are not going to be able to pass the eggs. They're not going to be able to take this base. So they're really very good there for Fantasy that... The eggs are going to be revealed. It's going to—it's not going to take mine too long to shell past these to rip these egg to, eggs to pieces, as you as you see. <laughs> but you know he's, he is going to be able to move it as soon as he opens up the position a little bit. Ah, what's happening? Okay, I was, I was thought it was killing his own, but the tanks. Nice position there for Fantasy to seize the tanks inside of his three o'clock to take those tanks. Very <laughs> little funnel actually. Mine just opened himself. You know I'm going to create a little space. Here for me to fly through, and as soon as that happened, he got completely bombed upon. Now Fantasy has four battle cruisers out there that are gonna go out and start ripping these tanks to pieces. And mine does not enough does not have enough Goliaths to fight those back. He does not have Goli enough Goliaths to fight those back at the moment. Not producing anything from his own starports, so he's not gonna react to this with race. Meanwhile, gonna just gonna pick up a base at the bottom right hand, gonna try to keep up with the economy. 
So this entire game, despite a very, uh, despite well, uh, mostly an orthodox opening by mine, has been mostly drop ships and tanks. Mine gonna yet again drop at the all right five hand five position. Not sure. Nope, not enough. Fantasy gonna be able to counter this. There are gonna be forces coming up the ramp as well. Battle Cruiser is in position. Is mine gonna have enough for this? I don't think so. Those Battle Cruiser is gonna become a critical factor. Not enough Goliaths to take those down. Even if the tanks do not do the jab, you can spot on mine's face. Yeah, Battle Cruiser is coming in, ripping those tanks to pieces. When you have a battle cruise in a large enough number, they just do enough damage to everything. Especially with upgrades in there. They they can take a lot of hits. They do a lot of damage and he's gonna be in trouble. And mine very close from GG, not really doing much at all at the moment. Has the dropship fleet, but might go for a last ditch effort thing, but I think that was his last ditch effort attack. His base at the lower right hand meanwhile has been denied. Uh, he's still mining in some places, of course, but overall, well, actually, no. Then I think about it, he's mining only at the 6. Those are only minerals. His mineral intake for a while now. He tried to take that inside 9 o'clock. I think the command center is actually still standing there, but he's min not mining much from it. Fantasies uh, 3 and 4, meanwhile, have been mining for a while now and just allowed him to pick up those carries. Now, with those carries, he's going to have some control. He's uh, going to have some control, going to be able to... Um, still going to have the dropship, going to be able to support the dropship fleet with those carriers. And he's going to be able to pick up the low right hand base. Actually blocking it, blocking that with his own tanks right now. But he's going to be able to pick that up as soon as yeah, as soon as soon he gets enough turrets up. And as soon as he gets strong enough defensive position. He's going to be meanwhile just going to build a command center inside of it, that 5 o'clock base. But still he's going to take yet another base while mine is desperate for mining. I don't think he's really building any troops at this point. He has some dropships coming in. And it's going to be a little bit of a drop. But yeah, more fantasy dropships. Also some forces coming in on the ground. Try to force some of those battle cruisers back, but Fantasy just gonna siege up on top of that ramp. Mine desperately gonna try to siege across. Has SCVs coming in to absorb some of the fire, try to get in close. They're not gonna manage, they're gonna get ripped to pieces for any of that happens. Fantasy, huge number of tanks at this at this base. Uh, his battle cruisers are also in the air. I, think, I don't know whether they lost one or not. <laughs> Fantasy still mining a little bit. Mine, I'm sorry, still mining a little bit at that inside 9 o'clock, but. Uh, not always together that much, and always the risk of sieging being sieged. One battle cruiser did get picked off there, though I think, by those tank, by those Goliaths. Finally, one puts three upgrades on those forces of mine. It took a while, it took a long, long, long while. It might have actually been a much more critical factor. I thought he'd gotten his weapons up much earlier on, didn't at all notice. But that actually made a bit of critical factor of why he's been losing this entire game. He's gonna lose it inside nine o'clock. Now he's been mining very much from it. Uh, Fantasy Meanwhile going to be able to pick that up as well, and the oil right hand. So these few minerals at the 6 o'clock position, the only minerals that mine, only intake, mineral min intake right now that mine is getting, and he does GG. So as, as I predicted, a long, drawn out, very long, very drawn out TVT, but that's what you expect when you got Fantasy and mine playing a TVT. So mine getting himself knocked out, Fantasy going to get a shot for Retribution, going to try to knock Quanra out, and there you go, two players they don't know where to root for. Um, well, kind of do, but we're going to see what happens. GG, guys, wrenching out this thing. Hope you enjoyed. That was an insanely weird, well, not weird, just funky TBT. Went on for way too long. And during TBTs, I never know what to talk about. So, GG, guys, wrenching out this listening. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think I already said that, but whatever.